this whole idea of anonymous tips. People do anonymous tips to, you know, do anonymous tips to sort of keep themselves, to, to, to you know, uh, make our society better and also not fear for their lives. Um, and that brings us to this story about the Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers. The executive director of the Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers, a place where people put in anonymous tips, is going to jail for a couple days because he's in contempt of court. And here is why. An anonymous person called Crime Stoppers and made a tip. The tip, I guess, ended up catching the predator. Judge Victoria Brennan, Brennan, Brennan said to him, we want you to tell us who the person is. Who is the person that gave us this anonymous tip? And the executive director of Crime Stoppers tore the paper up and ate it. Yep. Richard Mastin. He is the guy. He is now in contempt of court and will be sent to jail for two weeks because he understood, he understands, um, and he knows, he understands and he knows the importance of anonymity in supporting uh, anonymity in the criminal justice process. These folks are going out their way to help you solve a crime. That's what they're doing. And they want their safety and their, and their identity protected. And they deserve that right. Our Constitution gives you that right. And now the judge is saying, we have to, we, I demand that you give me that particular person. And of course, he said, hell no. And in a statement, he said the following. We promise people who give us information to solve crimes or to solve murders or serious violent crimes in this community that we can, they can call with an assurance that we will remain, they will remain anonymous and that nothing about them or their information would ever be compromised. The case today started creeping into that. It's not going to happen on my watch and I understand the consequences. Now that, America, is what a true patriot looks like. That is what a true patriot looks like.